climate students, uh, it's a hope for change. For me it means to kind of, because I've always thought that I'm going to wait and then when I'm finished I'm going to work with this and I'm going to do something later all the time. But it's like a way to start now. Um, so that's what it shows me that I can do something now with what I have. It means uh, doing my part and also being able to be a part of a very important movement, I think. Uh, that's very needed right now because we all know about climate change, but we need to act on it. And I think climate students uh, will be able to put pressure on the universities, first of all, and the universities can also show the way for the rest of society, I think. It means doing my part. Uh, I feel like we all should be, we all should be doing something. Uh, and I've, and I've uh, come to terms with the fact that I won't be saving the climate on my own. Uh, so I'm very happy to be doing my small part. I read the latest UN climate report, the one that came out this fall, and though I've been active in the climate movement before, I kind of uh, remembered again how urgent it is and uh, that I need to be doing something about it. Uh, I saw someone else at KTH uh, who uh, recently had started Climate Student, so I joined on early because I'm uh, um, the climate issue is something important for me. Basically, uh, for a while I'll be feeling a bit uh, ho of hopelessness like because I don't think um, a lot of things are being done or a lot of things are being done but it's not enough so I felt like instead of feeling hopeless I was gonna start to do something about it so being a part of uh, the climate students it just it felt right and I think uh, now I have more hope than before. It's energizing and inspiring and it gives you more energy to continue uh, and to see that you're not alone in this. Uh, you have all these climate students uh, backing you. Meeting other groups, it makes you feel like this is a community and we're doing this together and we're, we're a lot of people who want this. Um, there's no room for like denial or waiting or it's just you might as well start now and we want to help you. <laughs> Uh, first of all, I would give him the numbers, uh, but also I would uh, urge uh, him to really consider what we've learned so far. And we've, we already have a lot of knowledge, but we need to really empathize uh, working on it. So we really need to act and act now, and I think we need to do it in a more radical way than we originally thought, because it's, uh, we're in a hurry now, I think.